Hey everyone, it's Kim, the Homeschooling Grammy, and today I thought I'd come on here and share with you some Christmas homeschool goodies. And so if you're interested, stick around. We're going to get started. working okay. I was noticing my phone's acting a little weird. It's my old phone. I don't know. We're going to see how this is going to roll. And um, I've been kind of under the weather, weather for quite some time now. So I'm going to try really hard not to like start coughing or any of that kind of nonsense. Okay. So first things first is this first thing that we're going to do um, in the month of December is a project actually that I had purchased last year and I kind of got overzealous maybe purchased too many things last year and so we never got to it so we're definitely going to do it this year but it's this foam um, train kit and it includes 12 foam train pieces a base sticker sheet foam embellishments um, etc etc and I had gotten it at the Target dollar spot isn't that cute so I'm excited to do this. I think this will be lots of fun. And so when we were at the Dollar Tree a couple of weeks ago, um, before all this mess started, um, Hope picked out a couple of things that she wanted to do. So the first thing is just this little snowman painting that we got at the Dollar Tree. And she really loves to do these. And also a candy cane one. Aren't they cute? Super fun. Okay, so I was unsure of what to do um, for Christmas. I didn't want to do like a whole huge unit study just because we do sunlight and already that's kind of intensive in itself. Um, and we also read the book of Luke over Christmas for the whole um, Christmas story and the birth of Jesus. And so I thought I wanted to see if I could find some light reading, just fun things to read for Christmas. And so I came across these two books. I don't really know a whole lot about either one of them before. We have not, I'm not familiar with them. And if you are familiar with them, I would really appreciate it if you would um, leave me a comment down below and give me your, you know, review of, of either of these books. That would be awesome. But the first one is from A Griffin Chronicles. It's a Christmas novella. It's called Jake and the Gingerbread Wars by E.G. Foley. And I'll just kind of give you a little synopsis on the back. After his harsh beginnings as a rough and tumble orphan on the streets of London, Jake Everton takes his rightful place as the long lost heir of an aristocratic, aristocratic, sorry, family with magical powers. His personal quest to follow in his slain parents' footsteps as a late writer in the age old battle of good versus evil. Um, and then there's a little bit more here on the bottom. It says wanted humbug, the disgruntled Christmas elf. Reward one Christmas wish granted courtesy of Santa. Humbug hates being a Christmas elf. Instead of making toys, he'd rather make mischief. Angling for a new job in Halloween Town, he sets out to prove his frightful he's frightful enough for the task by ruining Christmas for as many people as possible until Jake and his friends capture him. The kids set out on a rip roaring adventure to the North Pole to hand the troublemaker over to Santa and collect the reward. But the way is fraught with danger, leaving them to wonder if they'll make it back in time for Christmas or if they'll even make it back alive. So I don't know. I'm on the fence with this book, to be quite honest, now that I have it in my hand. <laughs> um, but we're going to give it a try. We're going to see how it, how it is and if we like it. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll definitely let you know um, when I do my monthly uh, What We Read, I will tell you what I think of this book. But if you have read this, you know, in your homeschool or whatnot, let me know. Tell me what you think. So the second book that I picked up is called um, The Girl Who Saved Christmas by Matt Haig. And this little synopsis back here. Um, as for ages 8 to 12, by the way, this book. And this one says it's for ages 10 and up. Um, Amelia Wishart was the first child ever to receive a Christmas present. 
It was her Christmas present that gave Santa the extra boost of magic he needed to make his first trip around the world. But now Amelia is in trouble. When her mother falls ill, she is sent to the workhouse to toil under cruel Mr. Creeper, and it's not long before her hope begins to drain away. As Christmas approaches, magic levels dip dangerously low at the North Pole, and Santa knows that something is gravely wrong. With the help of his trusty reindeer, a curious cat, and Charles Dickens, he sets out to find Amelia, the only girl who might be able to save Christmas. But first, Amelia must learn to believe again. So, it sounds like that might be fun. Um, yeah, so let me know down in the comments. But that's what we're going to do throughout the month of December. We probably are going to start reading these before that because, you know, this one's sizable in itself. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that this video is a blessing to you and I will talk to you again soon.